Is it because Safi joined? Because she doesn't need to join anymore with the other thing. Hello, everyone, <laughs> and welcome to Drifting, a Traveler TTRPG campaign with an uh, emphasis on the RP. Hello! Hi! I think I need to update my drivers. My recording doesn't work. So oh, no. I'm going to have to rip it off Twitch again. Okay, and but he didn't forget. Chat. I didn't forget. I literally before, just before we started, I yeah. So uh, we're going to do a quick intro of everyone, and then head straight into the show. Um, I don't have a, a a plan of of who to do who to go to. First My name is and... Peachy Pixelite. I will be Thank playing you, Colton today. He is a bit of a grizzled kind of war veteran who likes guns and succinct, concise conversations yes. and dislikes it when anyone answers the radio call with "Yo." It's still better well, I... than "It's a me." <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is better than that. Uh, also, I stream on on my name. I stream on my name, not on Twitch, just on my name. I yeah. just yeah, that's what I do. Just that's go, impressive. Yeah, go to your browser, type in Peach Pixel Eight. It'll take you right there. How about you, Tessa? Uh, I also stream on twitch.tv forward slash test occasionally <laughs> uh in some other places i'm all over the place all the time um there's a cat on my desk she's really sweet um she's in the stream pretty much all the time because she's like living on my desk right now so yeah and i got sleep beautiful <laughs> Every adult across the world went, oh, that's amazing. Sweetie. That's that amazing. How? Well done. I have medicated my cat and put her on my desk. I, I got her <laughs> on my desk. How did you just take medication? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, Amelia, how, how are you doing? Oh. Hi, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm running entirely on uh, caffeine and wishful thinking right now because December's kicking my ass. Mm -hmm. uh, but I am really looking forward to playing Nomi today, who is a completely normal botanist. Yeah. And I won't hear anything else said about her. That's it. You've got no fucking proof. You've got no proof. Nobody's I mean, I do. <laughs> So you m murder God a bunch of people in a fucking alleyway? What? The There's no proof of that. Is there proof of that? Yeah. Is there proof of that? I will Sorry. bring up the VOD. Okay. okay. <laughs> you as a person, I don't care about your opinion. <laughs> in game. <laughs> I'm just role playing in this show, so Millie will speak to me. <laughs> in game, don't make even direct less eye contact. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Daffy? Hello, I'm working off a very makeshift setup right now. Uh, reason for the cam being different and the mic being different, but we're gonna try our best. I still showed up. Like, we're working with it and I'm playing Astrid. The lovable dumb fuck on board the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> so. Sorry. Last week, yes, last week, uh, we had um, a lovable old man being murdered. I mean, he died in his sleep as of very, natural, um, causes, natural causes. Natural causes. Completely natural causes. I'm not going to say it, um, but it was very funny to see people focus on the the death and not the circumstances surrounding it. Um, a couple of people noticed, not many, so that's cool. Um, we also had, a, a, well, we landed on the planet, we offloaded all the passengers. Uh, they went off to go and blow up buildings and assassinate people because they were all terrorists and assassins. Uh, chat decided. Um, and uh, eventually got to essentially a little urban hub. Uh, where some of the passengers need to... Well, one of the passengers needed to wait. Um, offloaded the rest of them. 
uh, uh, Ranker Rankerson, uh, the strange dude by himself, said he had other things he could do, so he went off and uh, uh, the family, which was the triplet family, uh, also uh, departed. Um, on top of that, uh, Astrid and Romy went out to go check out the um, the whole... I want to call it a mercantile area. That's not the right word. The uh, commercial Heightland. district. The yeah, yeah. The the high streets essentially. Um, lots of lights. Kind of rude people who um, treated Astrid like a urchin <laughs> essentially. Um, they went to get uh, some some nicer highfalutin clothes, um, and did. Hence why Astrid is, is currently a bit more presentable than usual. <laughs> and Astrid got mistaken for Romy's daughter. That's my face! That's my face! <laughs> uh, finally, um, they... Uh, the cr Well, uh, Nomi told... Was it the captain? I think it was the captain uh that the passenger had died and they uh took him to his um uh they they took him to his bunk and essentially tried to organize a uh burial funeral like handing him over to the initiative state i guess uh unfortunately he's not a member of the initiative worlds which means that he needs to be transported back to the inner systems. Luckily, um, he can be put on ice essentially in the storage of the of the ship. So there's no super rush to you know he's not going to go off or anything. So <laughs> he's not going to go off. Well, I mean, what do you want me to say? <laughs> I don't know, Shippy. I don't know. Is, is not going to get ripe? Um, is he a Brain bomb Brain. by any chance? No, 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 no. Off, off in the in the um sell by date. Um, best before. Best before. Ooh. Just popped him in the freezer. Mm. It's fine. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> um, oh, uh, and additionally, before we get going, actually, uh. For those of you who are who were looking forward to uh, Romy and and Astrid out on the town and gambling and stuff like that, that's going to be in a snapshot. Um, we want to uh, properly pay attention to it, so we're going to do it over the Christmas break and release it at some point as a snapshot. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, essentially, for for today, uh, Astrid will be randomly turning back up with Romy through the night and uh oh there's also a um there's also a, a a curfew for everyone in the city you have to be home and in your places by like 9 p.m so uh that that's another thing that's happening along with the cordon around parts of the city where no one's allowed in no one's allowed out so let us um come back to I think, seeing as we haven't had her around, uh, Kareen, who, uh, essentially, Kareen, you've been feeling a bit ill. That's mostly past now. Uh, you've learned that uh, while you are learning slowly to cook, you're not quite there yet. <laughs> um, your attempts at cooking... I won't be trying that again for a while. Yeah. Yeah. That might have been worse than the that was worse than the tomato. But hey, when you <sighs> when you fail, you learn what not to do, so you can do it right next Good time. Good God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think I think Kareen would basically like be waking up from finally having passed out after feeling like absolute blight or. A while yeah um and she'd kind of 
make herself some some coffee, some regular non nitro coffee because mm. she doesn't think her system could handle the nitro just yet. The nitro and the food did not mix well. Yeah, she's gonna just kind of chill on the nitro for a while until she needs it again. That's right. Um, so regular coffee, and and wanders over to the bridge. Um, and and the first thing she's gonna do is just sit down in her seat mm. and be like smells different like your your feet don't reach the floor it's yeah like the but, seat's yeah. been lifted up it's been moved back it's i'm small mm. and and then i would like reach for my controls and literally not be able to touch them what the oh somebody else must have been flying this okay fine and then she'd like fix everything and as she's adjusting the chair to her comfort and like fixing the panels and all the things she realized that needs cleaning and she'd just be like this is my fault because I could be here to pilot damn it so then she'd go get some cleaner from the kitchen and just like clean her consoles and clean the chair and get everything adjusted again make more coffee and then finally sit down settle in just be like oh. <laughs> The AI would wander by yeah. and yow at her randomly. So, um, <sighs> as, you, as you're doing that, uh, probably, like, you get a good five minutes with your feet up on the console before the captain wanders in. And, uh, oh, Kareen, are you feeling better? Much. That's good. I am. Never eating my own cooking again. Oh, well, don't say that. Just, you know. At least not for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, and hey, uh, years. <laughs> if you want to keep practicing, I know Nomi can always use compost, so. True. I just, I, I don't, I worry about the survivability of her plants if I cook something and then they have to eat it or use it or I'm, I'm whatever plants do. I'm sure they'll be probably okay. I need, I need like a robot that can't get sick to test the food. I feel like that's a lot to ask. <laughs> I, it's not currently in the ship's budget, but Hey, if we get some great jobs and, you know, have some, have some like a windfall, maybe it's a, at that point, I think maybe just a robot to take my cooking rotation would be better, right? Yeah, yeah. Or, or you know, we just you, you don't have to. Um... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ooh. I'm really a, a decent pilot, but this other this cooking stuff, I just yeah. <sighs> and it's not like my cooking's amazing or anything. Um... Much better than yeah. Maybe we can hire on a, a, a chef or, um, you know, in the that future. Would be, yeah. Did the passengers all get off okay? I've kind of been a little out of it. So um, mo most of them. Uh, uh, do you remember the the short old man? Um, he, he died in his sleep. What? So. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I mean, he was old, but... Yeah. That's kind of sad. Oh, uh, are you, yeah, um, sorry, I just need to jump on the intercom. Um, uh, oh. There we go. Uh, Nomi, um, Colton, could you pop down to the bridge quickly? I'll be right there. Yes. Thank you. Just need to discuss what we're going to do next, basically. Um, uh, Ast Astrid and, and Romy are out uh, at the moment, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll bring them up to speed once they... Oh, uh, hey. Um, as what do you need? Um, you don't need the gun. Need the gun. Mm. You don't need the gun out. Okay. Hey, Green, if you any better. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna stay away from the cooking and the eating of my 
cooking for a while. Me too. That was not good. <laughs> yeah. How do you even do that with a sandwich? I have no excuse. <laughs> really don't um i don't know but anyway i yeah um i'm just gonna drink some regular coffee for a while save that nitro for special occasions um yeah would you like some coffee normal coffee i i got coffee okay oh good okay okay yeah um thanks for piloting um yeah thanks <laughs> um you're tall I, I, I mean, I know you're tall, but I didn't realize how tall you were until I sat down and I couldn't reach the controls, but it's totally cool. Thank you for taking over. Mm. I appreciate it. Uh, okay. Yeah. Your, your navigational um, charts, you know. Yeah, I just used your sheets. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, you did, you did great. It looks, everything looks in order. So, um... What are we doing with the dead guy? Yes, that's what I was going to talk about. So, we need to take him back to, um, you know, I, I, I figure, um, seeing as he's from Sumalis, we, we may as well take him back to Sumalis and, uh, drop him off there. Um, hopefully he's got family there. Uh, uh, Kareen, that might be, if you get a chance, it might be something worth, uh, seeing if we can contact any next sure, yeah, or yeah. anything I'll, I'll shoot a message off right now and i literally as we're talking yeah. do that oh uh to, to shoot a long uh like a, a long message you know kind of off planet uh you'll need to jump on the uh on the console but you can essentially just like leave the um leave the bridge in a second and, and go do that like okay. no problem um I was thinking, seeing as we're going to <clears throat> be heading back that way anyway, and we were kind of planning on staying here for a couple of days, I may look for work um, back towards dinner, transporting something, or maybe just like some, uh, do some hauling work or uh, passengers, if there are, there are any we can find. Uh, so we'll be here for a couple of days, I'm thinking uh right. pick up a job and then head back and you know may as well get paid for the trip right live passengers yeah. right that would be ideal yes right. okay would it dead passengers would be much quieter that's true Dad? i could convert the bunks into cryogenic storage really? have to buy some things would that be expensive huh. do you think there's a lot Too bad. of bad i set up a single people? cryogenic Hooked up to the ships. So, I think there's a lot of people that die here that need to go there. There are so many dead people. I mean, I don't know, maybe. Because hmm. Nomi's right. I mean, it would be peaceful. No kids. Your thoughts are taken on board. The trafficking of, of dead bodies is usually more on the illegal side would pay better, but also, um, it's not, it's not really the job I was thinking of, but. Okay. See. But if somebody dies while on the ship, as has already happened. Yes. We have to put them in with the food. Well, we're not really planning on on lots of death with our passengers. The hope is is that the if we do transport passengers again, they'll be alive the whole way through. Mm. So, um, if we were to convert, I mean, possibly like it may be worth getting a a one like. Um, transport just in case but it seems a bit pessimistic you know there are other ways of using things like that though no i don't 
I don't really want to put the old guy in the in the farm. No, I meant the storage facilities. Oh. There are many places that require organs and those sort of things oh, need to be kept organs. in special storage. I just... Do we know how he died? Not. Uh, it died in his uh, sleep, essentially. Just being old. Just, uh... He, he, must, he must have been... close to... 130, 140, I'm guessing. So, mm. yeah. Just, you know, to try and mitigate it happening again. Yeah. Yeah. But if, you, if it was just old can... age. Yeah. I'd prefer not to um, traffic organs. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. hoping we could maybe find other jobs, you know, a, a bit less. Trafficking. I mean, it depends on the profit margin, right? Right. Risk assessment. Where do you think hospital organs come from? Chop shops. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think they do. They're, they're donated, right? Mm. Yeah, but are they willing donations? I mean, I could probably give you a kidney, but that'd be expensive. Hmm. Hmm. So that'll be plan B, right? Yeah, maybe plan C. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I tell you what, I'll see what jobs are around, and we'll kind of go from there, as opposed to you know, aiming for for the organ job. We'll put some feelers out. Um, but if the opportunity is there, we're we're all all willing board. to. It's always good to have the technology for options. You're right. I don't really want to specialize, but it might be worth having a, a, a cooler freezer. Dead bodies, organs. Sure. That wasn't something I'd thought of, but... Those are things need to be kept cool, so... It's true. It's true. Okay, well, it's, um, we have backups. So, uh... Does anyone know where Astrid is? Uh, uh Astrid and Romy uh, went out to go look at shops and, and stores and, and everything. I don't think they were getting anything specific, but... You know, there's just a... worried about the time. There's a curfew. I'm just reading on my console yeah they know about that right Why is yes oh uh, yes um well they uh, i i find in general they they tend to be a bit more lax with the more um like commercial areas but um they'll, they'll probably just shuffle people off once uh i guess to that time um yeah uh so uh, good news is, uh, we have a couple of days, um, if you want to go out, get any, uh, personal things, or if anything's needed for the ship, you can always let me know, we'll see about, uh, about ordering it in, or, or going out to, to buy something. Um, I've wired, uh, the profits from the trip, so you, you will have, a, an, a good, uh, 2,500 credits extra, um, from this this jump hopefully we can get a bit more uh, also possibly we might be looking at a bonus but um, I'm just waiting to hear back from the, the VIP guy who we dropped off cool. no me do know much about refrigeration cryogenics no Mm. No, nothing. Cold, that's about it. Green. Uh, no. Hey, did we ever put aside any cash for those sensors? 
Yes, yes, yes. Um, we have enough for a replacement. Um, maybe if we get another job, we can even go for something a bit more uh, visual, um, as opposed oh, cool. to just you know the the blips and the bloops um, in the in the thing. So uh, let's see if if we manage to pick up a good job, um, we might be able to. We can probably keep these going for a while. They work. Most of the time. Okay. Sort of, yeah. I would love an upgrade. I'm sorry I don't know anything about the cryo stuff. <laughs> it's still plan C, so... Right. Options, though. Options. Yeah, options are good. You then want to come with you looking for jobs? Um... If if I get a meeting, I'll uh, I'll I'll yeah. It it would be useful to have someone professional looking. Depends oh, on the worry. job. I pick this up. I have a license. Right. Good. Oh, and I run off. <laughs> oh oh. Uh. So um. It, it, that's it essentially um just just wanted to keep you up to date and uh I, I i assume none of you are from this area you don't know anyone here to, would be looking to unload a job yeah, that's okay i'm back so i got i pull out this fucking insane shotgun thing <laughs> I got last week okay so if we ever get boarded Look at this. Wow. Oh check, check this out. Check You've... this out. And I, I go around the corner Ooh. and I should like bend the thing around the corner. Yeah, yeah. Clear. Oh my god. I can shoot people around corners. You have a clacker. That's boss. Oh, that's what they're called. Hackers. Yeah, check this. <laughs> the, uh, the, the initiative used to, the initiative marines used to use that for shipbuilding um, like eight, ages ago. Yeah. Um, it's a bit of an antique, but uh Yeah, the receiver's been welded, but I can fix that. Okay. Cool. Impressive. Mm. Good find. Mm -hmm. Did a lot of cool stuff. By the way, any any time from now on Astrid uh, and Romy can return, so Alright, um well, aside from that, I would say try not to go near the cordon uh, over the next couple of days. We don't really want to be mixed up in anything. Right. What? Why is there a cordon? We're not a hundred percent sure. Apparently, there were riots, and uh, mm. um, there's no way there were riots. This is all bullshit. I mean, hundred percent. Well, Look at where we are. What is it then? Okay, so I've been looking through some of the news and the records. There is nothing. There is nothing before the point where they shut this place down and put the cordon in. There's no reports of riots until after. There's no reports of anything until after. Hmm. So what purpose did the cordon serve? Mm. Hmm. Government just shut it down for whatever reason. We don't really have sensors that can look in there. Also, if they found out we were trying to search you there, they might shoot us. They will shoot us. Yes. Um, probably not worth uh, getting involved with the initiative military, I would say. Um, you know, un unless, like, uh, I don't know, could be a profit to be made from smuggling people in or out, but we I, need I, lots of guns. We would need some shields, definitely. armor. I'll make a list. Also, not knowing what's going on there, if there's some some type of uh, uh, outbreak or there's a reason for the cordon then you know 
risky. So. I haven't been able to find out anything past other news reports are saying people on the streets, they don't know. Or they don't care. Maybe a bit of both. Probably a bit of both. Captain, do you find the idea of transporting dead bodies more or less agreeable than taking on a government in order to smuggle people over a border? It's a good question. Government. Uh, I would I would say it comes down to the legality. Um mm. And and also the risk of of you know discovery, essentially. So it is an issue of practicality, not morals. Yes. <laughs> I'm I'm perfectly happy taking, especially uh, in uh, in the EAP or, or initiative territories, taking on less than. Um, lawful jobs as long as it's you know not too much of a risk mm. same we do have to operate within the inner system and i think i think we're all from there uh as i'm i'm not 100 percent sure about astrid actually i assume astrid's from inner as well i don't think she's ever said Well, um, so I, I'd prefer not to be considered, um, outlaw or, you know, uh, I, I don't really want the inner military after us. A couple yeah, that'd be bad. Of, at least three of us worked for them, so we're probably on their records for a start, could make things difficult. It would be strike travel. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be really bad. It's bad for business. But there are a lot of pirates out there they're probably more concerned with. But it doesn't mean they'll have more of a presence in space. The um I I heard on on the news that the the EAP is trying to cr crack down on um kind of pirate activities in the in the space between the systems. Yeah, they should look in the space between the top and the bottom. No, we will look at him for a second, and then, like, you can see the smile start, and then she can... Mm. Yeah, if you if you looked at Colin, you probably saw him caught himself, and then just immediately shut up. <laughs> Plus, of course, um, you know, not not everyone here is. comfortable breaking the law so yeah. bending the law bending the law even uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know what Roby would say about where is Romy I'm just I'm just concerned yeah, what's the time here. sheepy looking yeah uh it, it's probably about about 8 eight thirty. so getting close to the curfew I hope they're okay probably I mean Romy can hang them himself Astrid too yeah she seems very capable and loud but capable yes loudly capable she might be in trouble oh god <laughs> I'm sure we'd hear if she was. <laughs> Fuck. Smirk it. again. Mm. Stop it. No. I guess we'll wait till nine. They're not back. If they're not back, we'll yeah. head out and find them or... No. Okay, I'm gonna go play with guns. Does anyone need anything? Oh, okay. I have you. Nomi looks like she's about to answer and then mm. stops herself. Well, I I think that's all that's needed. I'll I'll see to finding us 
some work for uh, for when we head back. Um, Kareen, you may as well start plotting a course back to um, Somalis. Yep. I, I figure we'll just go straight back to that uh, 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 the Delac station we picked him up from, if, if that's okay. Sure. Yep, I will take care of that. Okay. Uh, oh. Sheepy, all our passengers are gone now, right? Yes. Well, I'll no, probably... you still got the one. Oh, we still got the one? Alright, no one. He, he's, he's dead. Oh. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> um, and people I'll... are people too, Peachy. Yeah. Rude. No, they're not. The meat. <laughs> Don't tell Kareen that. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll probably still get to work dismantling all the bunk, the bunks and stuff. And the shower. And seeing if I can reverse the shower stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, over the next couple of days, you can, you can essentially get to that. It, it took you, it took you, like, just under a week to get it up, and that's harder to know. Yeah. yeah. No, I can tear it, moving on, <laughs> I can tear it down fairly quickly. I assume. I don't want to destroy it because we might want those pieces again. I'll put all the stuff in storage. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's it's easier to break apart than put together. Yeah, so. making the erection is a lot easier. What, erecting the bunks? Yeah. You helped and then you made it worse. Um... <laughs> is, is this a good time for Astrid and Romy to come back, do you think? Okay, um, so probably about, uh, oh, um, uh, Nomi, I'm assuming you just head off to, to farm? Yeah. Okay. And Kareen, I'm assuming, feet back up and, uh... <laughs> I'd, I'd send the message first. Send the message, yes. Yeah, I'd probably head over and do that, grab another cup of coffee, and then come back and just kind of, like, settle in, like, lean back, put my feet up. Okay. So yeah. you're... You're essentially just shooting off a message to um, pretty pretty much like a, a inner governmental you know a center which tracks you know people and families and you know if you if you need to contact someone you don't know it's it's like the yellow pages that's a UK thing I think actually um, it's like the phone book except for. Yeah. We used to have yellow pages, but now we have the internet. <laughs> yes. Um, so yeah, you shoot that off, probably take a little bit of time to respond, you know, administrative bureaucracy, etc. So. Yeah, in the meantime, I'd just be chilling. <laughs> so Astrid. Wow. Uh, Roby and Astrid return uh, onto the ship. How are they? Astrid is absolutely steaming. Uh, like, like, as a skunk? <laughs> oh, she's gonna just kind of look like hanging onto Romy's arm. Yeah. And sort of like, top of it a little bit sideways, <laughs> trying to keep it right. <laughs> um, probably just like babbling it a little bit. Like, did you see, did you see the band that I played? Two aces, baby! Oh god, I love this. You, you did okay. <laughs> I did so fucking well. Oh, did you win any? I did not. But oh. it's fine, you know, it's uh... Yeah. Oh my god. Where's the ship? Are we, are we back oh, yet? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're actually on the ship. Oh shit, son. Okay. All right. Um. Yes. You uh. Yeah. Can you can you make it to to your bunk? All right. Like. Obviously. Well, I mean, you're still using me for standing up straight currently. Okay. 
and she's gonna try and like walk in a straight line but her inter- interpretation of it she's always like trying to like walk like on a tight rope just like very tightly like one foot in front of the other okay okay let's uh yeah. have a little look here shall we oh god <laughs> that's not amazing to <laughs> I'm trying to decide whether this will be with a Bane or just a straight roll of athletics. I think Bane because she's drunk. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, let, let's go athletics with a, with a Bane, see how you do. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Bane. When your GM makes you roll for walking. I hate, I hate this game. I hate it. It's just, it's such bullshit. You want me to roll with a Bane? Sure, I'll just roll an 11 with a crit. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, take like three steps forward, look as if I'm gonna fall, do like a roly poly and stand back up again. Stand back it's like, up and... think that I could walk. <laughs> Kind of begs the question why you've been hanging on and making me do all the walking since we left the casino. Well, I mean, the ground's just a lot nicer in here. I don't want to do a really poly on that. Right. Yeah. All right now, stairs. Oh, Christ. And you're just going to see us sort of like wobble off yeah, <laughs> the direction of stairs. Do you like the the climb, you know, where you sort of like go to like your hands and you start like, going to your hands and just like ah. Oh. <laughs> Have a good sleep. We and maybe oh. maybe sleep in tomorrow. Who's gonna look after the engine? Well, we're not gonna be flying, so. Okay, good point. Okay. Engines. See you in the morning. All right. Uh, sleep well. Engine. You too. Excuse me, miss. You're not supposed to be on the ship. Um, um. Ast- Astrid. Yellow. Can I help you? What? I, what? 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 Nope. Who? Who? Oh, Colton's gone. Just turned around yeah, and walked off. For an old man, he walks fucking fast. Shit. Colton? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why are you? What? What are you wearing? Clothes. What are you wearing? Normal. Why do you look like that? It's a long story. We went to a casino, so we uh, got some appropriate clothing. Thank you. I think we look pretty snazzy if I do say so myself. Yeah. If Just, you um... if you go down into like the kind of more commercial entertainment area right at the bottom there like they won't look at you if you dress and he looks you up and down like that oh hey Astrid Romy hey Karine oh, Astrid you look feeling better I'm just gonna cut yeah. Karine's face in my hands oh yeah. you are so pretty oh you I need so to pretty. tell you that you're so <laughs> Beautiful, and don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise, okay? We, uh... I will fight them. I'll take one of Colton's guns and I'll shoot them if they no, ever say but, that to no, you me. Won't. I'll we, do what I want. We, we, okay? we got some complimentary drinks, and I didn't manage to get any of them. Oh, oh, cool. Do you want some coffee? You look so, so pretty. I, oh, thank you. I got this dress. It's so nice. It's oh. you're beautiful in it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh you. Oh. I don't feel well. 
Why is she red? I don't know. Um, do you do you want me to help you to your bed? No. I think she's a little inebriated, but she's so cute. (laughs) She's definitely inebriated. Just a little. Hey, listen, I'm fun, right? Beautiful. You are. Right. I'm gonna like put an arm, like under her, um, like around her. Yep. Hey, I'm gonna help you to your bed, okay? Hey, on. I know I called you cute, but I mean, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, um, no, I'm just helping. Okay. Where are we going? To, to your room? Okay. Oh, hell yeah. I like my room. Yeah. I'm yeah. just going to help you to the room. I'm not going to go in with you, okay? Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Leaving Nomi, Colton, and Roby standing there at like the foot of the stairs. That's why, weird. Why would she do that? She's faulty now. Only for tonight. <laughs> She's Probably. just drunk. Yes, but... It... <laughs> Did you, I um... Me. Okay. Yeah, not too bad. Um, It's weird down there. Yeah, do you hear anything about the cordon? No one's really talking about it. Hmm. Um, as as far as I can tell, it's like a a military thing. Um, seems like things got out of control. They called in the military. Military overreacted, as the military does, and uh, no one's allowed in or out. So, yeah. oh, you lost a passenger. Where you see him lost? Ah, uh, cold dead body storage. He's oh, he, dead. he died? Yeah, the old guy. His niece was in the cordoned off area. She died. Uh. <sighs> That's unfortunate. Yeah. I think maybe kind of gave up living. It'd be sad. He was really old. I guess we'll have to take him back then. Yeah, Captain wants to take him back to Somalis, right? Somalis, yeah. where we get him from. Makes sense. It's, uh, this planet won't take him. Oh, I asked. And we gotta deal with it. Assholes. Well, it's uh still fairly still a bit of friction between. Yeah, but he had family here. Yeah. Shame. Shame. Have you managed to find out much yourself about the cordon and everything? I mean, a little, but I've merely been digging. I don't want to get shot. Right, right. Sounds like they set up the cordon and the riot started afterwards. It seems something to me at least like I, I haven't been out here very much um, only once or twice but it seems like something that the local police should be handling not the military yeah we're definitely not hearing the truth sets my uh, suspicion meter up could be money to be made though Maybe. You ever been here before, Nomi? No. No. Neither. 
Been here once. Yeah. Long time ago. How long? 20 years. Uh-huh. What's that timeline, she be 20 years? Um, that will be during the wars. It would be? Uh, okay. That's all I need. Yeah. Oh, you serve? No, no, um, unofficially was uh, chasing a, a lead, I guess. Lead? What do you do? Serial killer. Used to be a serial killer. Oh, I thought you said what did he do? Um, no, I was, uh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, serial killer? <laughs> oh, okay, everyone takes like two steps back. Fair play, fair mm-hmm. play. I think You're I'd... my new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd walk back in after having dropped off a very wobbly and adorable Astrid. Yeah. Um, something about a serial killer? There's a serial killer? No, oh, Romy used to be a serial killer. What? No, 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 no. I was hunting a serial killer. What? That sounds terribly dangerous. Yeah. It wasn't too bad. Um, Are you like a PI? I, I uh, worked for the Sumalis um, police force. I was a detective. Oh, no shit. Uh, the long, long time ago. We're a detective. Cool. Man, I feel kind of wobbly. Well, I think I'm going to go back to the bridge and have some more coffee. Are you also inebriated? No. Hmm. Although I kind of feel... No, I'm... No, I'm just had coffee. I, I'm gonna go sit down. So you chased the serial killer all the way from... You know? You yeah. here? Yeah. Oh. He was hoping that the conflicts would uh, mean that we couldn't follow him and he could uh, lay low. You catch him? Yeah. Nice. I bought two guns. Good. Good. Do you get a license? Yeah. I'm making a collection. Two guns. I only saw the round the corners gun. Oh, right. And I get out. I can't remember. It was just a um, self kind of defense a, 45. Uh, PDA, a personal defense. Oh, no, it was a 9 mil, I think he said it was. A uh, 9 mil with uh, automatic capability. So a, bit, a little bit of a machine pistol. Oh, yeah. It's not too powerful. Mm. But it has a license. It or you? I have a license for it. Mm. Yeah, here you need a license for every different firearm. It's a little different. Mm. They're quite strict here um, in terms of weapons and laws. So if we go out tomorrow, I could shoot someone if I wanted. Not sure that's exactly what the license says. Well, I think it's a bit more you're allowed to carry it and use it in defense. I'm not sure you're just allowed to shoot people. How is that different to what he just said? Huh. Well, um, if someone's attacking you and you fear for your life, you can use a personal defense weapon to protect yourself. If you walk up to someone in the street and shoot them in the head, you're going to have to have a reason for doing so that would pass muster with the local police force and government. Basically the same thing. I can shoot people now. Legally. I'm going to bed. Hi, Romy. Been a long night. Try not to... Astrid singing? Knew 
hear that? I, I, that? I don't feel, I don't hear anything. <laughs> I hope not. I mean, I wish not. It could have. Does the alcohol make the singing better or worse? That's uh, deeply concerning. I, I, th- I think it makes it better if you're the one who's drunk the alcohol. And yeah. worse if you're not. Have you never been drunk? No. I look, I look around considering the fucking nightmare universe we live in. You've never, you've never been drunk. No. Ever. Ever. Huh. It debilitates you. I don't understand why anybody would want to sing like that. She I don't think like anyone wants fun. to sing like that, in fairness. It more improves the, your opinion of your own singing. Well, then it's a false opinion. Yeah, but it makes you happy. Hmm. Or make you forget. Maybe while we've got a couple of days off, we could have a... drink. Not that I'm wanting to get... I'm going to bed. I need to sleep. <laughs> Do you think he will sing for us? <laughs> what if we can make him sing for us? Mm. We should play some cards at some point. Drink some cards. beers. Beers. See who's got the worst singing. At the moment it's Astrid. Hmm. You've really never... Will that be all? Yeah. It's just <laughs> confused that you, you've never drunk, ever. <laughs> it's like really confusing to him. And she very awkwardly just turns around and walks away. Okay. So, I think uh, unless anyone else would like to do or talk to anyone else. I like to move away from the loud singing. Yeah, that's... Kareen would be in the bridge and she'd be hearing the singing and like involuntarily kind of bopping along to it. She like wouldn't quite realize she's doing it unless someone walked by and she'd just be like... Just getting here. (laughs) Okay. So, we will go, I feel, to the morning. And it's essentially for the morning, there is, um, uh, there, there is, a uh, pretty much open to whatever you want to do, um, the curfew obviously ends by the time you're awake and up and about and, and thinking about leaving the ship. Um, and yeah, part, part, past that, you don't have... I, I don't think any of you, aside from maybe Nomi, have any real duties to attend to currently. The ship's powered down, banked down. Um, you don't need to pilot or navigate. Oh, you've got a little bit of navigation stuff to do, just plotting the course, but you just came from there, so it's a pretty simple one, really. Yeah, I think I would have actually done that already this morning. Like, I would have already had my coffee and yeah. done all that. Um, you could have done it last night, to be honest. Yeah, but I was too busy popping <laughs> <around>. <laughs> a little bit. I felt surprisingly like yeah it was it was an odd night was, yeah anyway this morning i took care of it um and and yeah i'm thinking about going out but i haven't decided yet i'm just kind of drinking my coffee yeah uh, i was thinking about getting some boodles and some beer Oh, I, want, I want to come for a walk. Yeah. I could do with some boodles. 
Bootle sounds amazing. <laughs> hey, Astrid. How you feeling? Oh. Good morning. I don't feel anything. Just pain. Oh, God. <laughs> you, you, need, you need some water and some um, aspirin. I'll go get you some and some coffee. And it's I. Bright. It's bright. I don't want to go out. I'm going to grab her a bottle of water, a big mug of coffee, and some aspirin. And I put the aspirin in my pocket and, like, bring bring both cups over to her. And I'm like, here you go. This will help. Thank you. <sighs> you think Nomi would like some boodles, too? I don't know. I'm not telepathic. Right. Hey, hey, Nomi, do you want to come have some boodles and beer with us? I know it's kind of early, but, you know, care of the dog would probably help Astrid. Uh, why? It'll be fun. It'll be a good learning experience. Plus, boodles are delicious. Correct, but learning what? Um, what drinking beer and eating boodles is like. I already know that. You've had beer? No, but the boodles we all had. Right, but not with beer. Like on the side as well as inside the boodles. Technically, you have had beer, then. It's more of an ingredient. I was thinking we could have some beers as well. Yeah. Can I, I don't want any more beer. I don't want any more beer. I'm Let's never drinking beer home. again. No. Just a little bit. I'm going stone cold sober, never again. Okay. Hey, Nomi, maybe you could carry Astrid. So, she's less functional now. Just temporarily. Is the sad voice part of it? Yes. You're all talking to them. I'd like, go down to where everybody is. Um, so, Boodles? Boodles. 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 What about Romy? Was he... does he want boodles? Didn't respond. He might still be asleep. Come on, Nomi, come, come have boodles with us. We can laugh at Astrid. <laughs> no duties on the farm, so... Yeah. I suppose so. Cool. Okay. I love your necklace, Astrid. Thank you. It's not mine. Well, it looks great on you. Question GM wants to know, did you steal that? She My won own. it. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, no, 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 you know, might have, might have just uh, slipped into Astrid's pocket at the, the shop when they were... <laughs> That's what I was wondering, yeah. Okay. Just for the future, just in case it comes up. Okay. Cool, cool. <laughs> uh, Sheepy, while everyone's collecting themselves, I want to find, um, I, I want to find Boodles, first yeah. of all. I want to find New Olfen style Boodles in Traoris. Okay. You want to head out before them to, like, do a little scouting? No, I was figuring I could just check the menus. The, the, <laughs> The Yelp reviews. Um, so as you remember, uh, the initiative worlds don't really have. Oh like, yeah, a yeah, of, might be, might be. Essentially, either go out and ask, or you yeah, know, okay, I'll wait for everyone then. There, there, there'd be um, 
there'd be like a fairly new like tourism board type thing you could probably call up if you wanted but um we'll go and see what menus are like pinned to the board because it probably be something like that at the dock because they want they want to make money right oh you're new here go check out these food things yeah uh, there's, there's um essentially at the, at the dock there are peter's bread it's it's majorly like um like travel uh boutiques and shops and stores and things like that um a quick ask around if you just stopped a random person scare them a little bit and grumble at them uh will tell you that it's essentially there are um restaurants and uh bars in the um uh, entertainment district usually like they're not super open or anything um occasionally you can also find like uh food carts but basically like little plate little like fry stations on the street where people will serve you know foods and things in terms of boodles no one you talk to has ever heard of them i've never heard of boodles just bomb the whole planet no boodles well we're gonna have to find the boodles Ooh. Just as a sidebar, um, I don't know whether you made that joke to the per- or you know, whether you made that comment to the people you're talking to. Probably don't want to make that joke. Yeah, I don't- I don't think I would have made that joke to um, the person. All, all of- all of you will know of Matari and what happened there, so. Um, that was- yeah. a, that was an initiative world that got bombed out of existence during the war. It wasn't because they didn't have boodles, though, was it? It wasn't because they didn't have boodles, but- just bomb the planet is probably not something that is joked about in in the initiative in general. Uh, oh, and, and a character uh, joke that one. <laughs> as a sidebar, that was the result of the war between the EAP and the initiative. So Inner didn't really have much to do with that, um, mm. as far as you know, anyway. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to go look for Boodles. Okay. I mean, we could. Mm. I was gonna say we could make our own, like if we found a place that had noodles and then beer, we could combine them, but I Wait, I'm not having you cook my hand on that food. Yeah, that's a bad plan. I agree. Let's call that plan B. Or plan never. <laughs> I'll cook the boodles, plan B. Okay, okay. I thought plan B was, never mind. That was plan C. That was plan C. <laughs> <laughs> Dead body storage. <laughs> Organ harvesting. <laughs> Don't put those hands together. <laughs> Makes the boodles inedible. Yeah, that would not those would not be good boodles. That would be to model level boodles. We don't want to model level boodles. Hey Astrid, you walked around here, right? Last night. Um. Maybe. Uh, it, it, in terms of what you remember, I would say sparkly, shiny lights. I remember it was bright. Right. Okay. Maybe put your sunglasses back on. Yeah. Let's go find Boodles. Yeah, I'd like to walk around and f to the food section <laughs> and have a look at like the carts and see if there's any, any Boodles whatsoever. Okay. Um, I have recon. You do. Oh, apologies. That's the wrong one. Sure. So, um, the streets are fairly clear. Um, if you, if you've ever been to a section of the city that's like theater and cinemas and and all of that type of thing you know what they're like in the morning the day after it, it, it's kind of like fairly bare like people are walking but they're walking with purpose um along along the road there are um some stalls um kind of just essentially like fry station here or you know that type of thing 
Um, there's a few restaurants, but they're open later. Oh, they, they, they kind of do like lunch and, and also they're... I guess the equivalent would be like, you know, like sushi restaurants or the kind of like upscale places that serve expensive food in small portions. Um, this is, this is just in the like commercial entertainment district. In the commercial district, you get the, um, you get more people walking around, more kind of like foot traffic and more of the stalls and stuff. If you're walking around the, the entertainment district, it's kind of a ghost town to a certain degree. And, uh, you may even notice like someone setting up a stall and getting shuffled on by some of the, uh, Marines who are wandering about. In terms of boodle stores, you see nothing. But there are, there are some, uh, some like uh, the side of the road, a uh, uh, fry station, little, little uh, wooden uh, trolley uh, places. Okay, I still see no boodles. Something fried would probably be pretty good for her, though, because, you know, soak up all the. What's the greasiest looking stall? Um. Probably, uh, there's a, there's a stool with, like, a very large, um, kind of, like, wide and tall man who kind of partially obscured by his stool, and he's, uh, he's, he's kind of, like, he's got those flippy thing, you know, the metal, uh, uh spatula type things, it's like, ting, 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 and he's, like, he's, like, uh, Tossing stuff around in, in in a kind of like a fryer bowl. It says, get your tre cheese twists here. Get them while they're frying. It, it's, um... Uh, can I get one extra greasy? Extra grease. Yeah, sure, sure. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, how many do you want? Uh, I look like at Aspen. Two. Uh... Three, 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 Kareen. Cool. Yeah, one, four. one for me. No, me. I... Five. And I'll take two. So seven. All right, all right. Uh, do you want it sprinkled or without? Uh, sprinkled. Sprinkled? Of sprinkled? course. Sprinkled uh, with what? Media, medium or large? Large. Right you are, right you are. And that's five, yeah? Seven. Seven. Right you are, right you are. And starts flipping. Uh, what he's essentially doing is um, he uh, cracks eggs. They're like, they're like these kind of large... Um, uh, they're like these kind of like large... Uh, uh, bigger than chicken eggs, essentially. Um, he cracks into this bowl and then fluffs them up. And... Uh, then pretty much like omelets them essentially uh and then gets these like big kind of uh what it what is basically uh like a mixture of cheese and uh dough and turns them into these like these like twisty things and then twists the cheese dough around the omelet uh into kind of like a bow type type thing and then serves it on a essentially like a, a it's so greasy it's like newspaper you know like he serves it in like a bowl of newspaper i'm gonna report you for terms of service in a second yeah. oh. <laughs> anyone else hungry mm. why does this show always do this to me <laughs> <laughs> oh my god what is he sprinkling on because i asked for sprinkles but it was more of a question because i didn't know what they were <laughs> yeah yeah so the um after after he after he bowls it up with the with the it's essentially like cheese twist around an omelette. Um, he gets these like little kind of small cubes and fries them up. Uh, they appear to be some type of cheese. Uh, and then like once once they've like he essentially like sprinkles them on the fryer, uh, flips the fryer, and the like kind of browns them on all sides and then sprinkles them on the top. They're kind of uh, 
like really really small little sprinkles but um they, they've got like a they're got, like halloumi yeah yeah essentially, essentially a bit like halloumi whereas the the cheese twist bread is more like kind of cheddar-y uh type Ooh um it is disgustingly fried and <laughs> um mm. yeah you you can you can the the fact that he's like right near the edge of the um of the entertainment district he's probably been working all night and selling this to people who are drunk and and stumbling home what are these called oh i just call them cheese twists cheese twists are good with egg if you want to get fancy i don't want to get fancy yeah i'll check his the credits for them. There you go. Order up, Oops. and uh, so there's seven of them there for you. Um, enjoy. Is there seating or? Oh no no! This is this is just like a stool. Street food. Yeah, this okay, is okay. full on street food. So you can go walking down the the street, eating as you like. Okay, Astrid, these three of these three are for you. Thank you. Ashley's uh-huh. just gonna start eating them as she's walking. Yeah, Kareen's gonna like carefully like hand- manhandle hers to to like not drip, basically. <laughs> oh, it's gonna drip. Yeah, she's gonna try. Yeah, she's gonna try. <laughs> um, she's gonna like fold the bowl and like try, and then eventually she's just gonna give up and go. <laughs> um, just as a just as a little bit of a um extra info because you'd all pick up on this except for maybe astrid depending on how much attention she's paying to the food uh the actual omelette itself is um a little bit different from like chicken egg omelette there's it's hard to describe there's there's kind of like a citrusy taste to it which makes it kind of like a bit more refreshing most likely, the, those aren't chicken eggs. Ash, you don't care. Like, sure. Yeah, that's why I said it's. It's so it's, yeah. Just eating away at it. No it's, care in the world. It's reasonably subtle, so. But, uh, you see the size of those eggs? No. Oh, massive. They're Maybe they come from big chickens. Chickens don't lay eggs that big. You don't know. I don't that. care what laid these, they're delicious. I was literally born on a farm, I think I do. Alright, old MacDonald. It's calm. Okay, who wants beer? Me. Yes. No. You need a beer. I think you need, you just, you can have like a sip. No. Just a little tiny bit. Never drinking again. Or some in her orange juice. (laughs) No. How's your eggs know me? They're gone. Yeah. Like the second they oh. started walking, she just decimated this thing. Good. Okay. Mm. Very Can good. Strange beer. aftertaste, but not unpleasant. What is that? Is it grease? Hmm. Those are definitely not chicken eggs. No. I'm going to walk back <laughs> to the stall. Okay. Excuse me, where are those eggs from? Uh, these, these ones? Big eggs, yeah. Uh, they're from Greylux. A what? Oh, are you not from, uh... Are you not from oh, Prioris? Well. We're only here for a few days. Oh, um, it's, uh... It's uh, about, uh, like, dog size uh, lizard that's on uh, that lives on... Like, dog eggs? And... Well, no, it, it, they're more, um like reptilian essentially uh uh, they're they're farmed for their um meat which is quite nice and for the for the eggs which like bigger um more nutritious and they've got like a nice little um a nice little kind of uh citrusy kick at the end that's it it, it's citrus everyone that's what it was that's what it was what did he say they were called? Those animals? Oh, uh, Greylux. Greylux. I need to write this somewhere. <laughs> What's a Greylux? 
Do you want me to put it in the chat for you? Yes, sure, please. Thank you. Wait, okay, thanks. Bye. Man, these are delicious. We need to get more of them eventually. Yeah, they're uh, can... dog eggs. I thought he said lizard. Dog sized lizard. Can we keep dog sized lizard egg laying things on the ship? Probably not alive. I look to Nomi. She's the farmer. <laughs> I guess There's I couldn't really... no reason, I suppose, that you couldn't, depending on the level of hostility of the animal, but... Oh. Inadvisable. Oh. Maybe put them on the list. Are you going to turn into grey like Steelers? Like, the, the de this is plan D. I want some Greylex eggs, dude. <laughs> Space farmers. <laughs> um, <laughs> fill the hold with Greylex. Just, just <laughs> FYI, like, um, there are uh, the equivalent of like grocery stores open down this uh, street. Uh, one or two kind of spotted about. So you can you can go and get that type of thing for sure. Let's go get some frozen Greylex and eggs. In it, gray leg, gray legs, dog egg, could, dog egg. Could could you get some boodle ingredients and make boodles? Yeah, I think we're gonna have to. I wonder yes. if they sell beer. Maybe. I think we're out Grocery of beer. Stores? Yeah. No, me looks at Astrid. I think mm. they probably do. Pokes her face a bit. Hmm. Oh. How's your eggs, Astrid? Beautiful. How's yours? Yeah, good. I just numb down two of them. <laughs> just ah, <laughs> greasy food. Proper blue collar food. <laughs> Corrine like inhaled hers and is like <laughs> licking her fingers because it was delicious. Oh yeah, I hadn't thought about that. Um, yeah, no, no, me will be doing the same, but like full on immaculately, like she can't wash her hands, so that's the best she can do, and she's not gonna wipe it on her clothes. Just oh, Cotton's that... just like, yeah, no, we're done, we're good. Just a ship full of cats, isn't it? Just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go into a grocery store, sheepy. Okay. Uh, it's just like lines and lines. Like there's, um, there's... are they well stocked here and stuff? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well. Uh. Uh. Lord. Uh. Prioris is actually uh very similar to uh New Olfen, except for for the initiative is kind of the the food basket uh planet, and it actually uh supplies uh, under the new treaties uh it supplies food to the majority of the eap and the inner system as well um it's essentially a good like i think it's 200 years ago the initial wars were about uh Bayonis, uh and who got to you know like get food from them uh, okay it's uh I, I can put it up very quickly uh, it was in... Sheepy has 200 years of history in this world he's built. Just point that out. Uh, that's not true. I have... Always find exactly what he's looking for whenever he's looking for it. I have 800 years of history. <laughs> Actually, te technically God. speaking, uh, in my in my, in my my brief history of, of the setting, I have from the beginning of recorded history, which is about... 3,000 years, um, but I only have, like, detailed from about 800 years ago. What caused the Big Bang in your universe? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was Big actually dogs. magnesium. Uh... <laughs> uh, it was actually an incidental to mortal. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, there, there was the independent wars, independence wars, and then the free conflict... And, uh, yes. Oh, actually, sorry. Uh, so the food riots, the food wars, sorry, were actually what you were part of, Colton. Uh, that was about 30 years ago. Maybe 40 years ago now. 
and um, essentially uh, the initiative held back supplies to Inner prior uh, due to prior like peace treaties and and that type of thing uh and there were like massive riots on inner and and you know people going nuts and crazy because the majority of inner is now urban or uh, aside from new orphan which you know does a decent ish job of of farming and everything um so yeah uh that that's essentially it was pretty much a 30 year war to broker a, a food trade negotiation <laughs> um okay yeah i mean it, in the universe resources are very important so. yeah uh so, something like Greylex eggs would probably be um fairly rare in the inner oh, really? system Oh, in yeah. the end. Sorry. Okay. Like around, around here, you know, they, they ranch them, they farm them. It, it's much like how, you know, boodles aren't a thing over here. They have different cultures now. They have different, you know, they're very separated, each of the places. Cuisine is all different. Okay, so I want to pick up Greylex, um, eggs, maybe some frozen Greylex for their meat. Yeah. Uh, I want to pick up noodles and beer ingredients for boodles yeah i'm sure they'd have the ingredients not that just it put together i'd also like to if if there's any priori specific food stuff i want to get you know you know when you go to like a different country and you go to their like snack section you're like i want all of these yeah <laughs> i i want to i want to just grab a basket full of just random priori snacks and stuff okay try yeah, no, that, that's good. Um, one thing I will tell you is that um, it's got like a little spicy indicator on the Greylex meat. The meat is spicy. Interesting. Like, it comes spicy? Without adding spice? Yeah. Dave, you could cook this. No. <laughs> uh, I... No. I, I don't want to risk it. I'd ruin it and, and then... I might make Nobody it. wants you to risk it. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Gonna need some aloe vera for that bone. So their meat is spicy, their eggs are kind of citrusy. Okay. I'm sure it'll huh. be delicious when you make it. Oh I make oh I make yeah, okay. Yeah. Hey. Do you guys want to try some of these snacks? What are they? Uh, Beetos. Some kind of cheese thing. Cheese hmm. and coffee. Corn cheese. snacks. Cheese and coffee. Yeah. Oh, I want some. I want like some it goes well together. Uh, it sounds amazing to me. This place is very strange. It's, it's so. It's it's essentially like a, a cube of um of of cheese with a uh, like a coated coffee bean on the inside. We'll try him. Anything else you fancy? I think we're pretty stocked on coffee, right? Maybe You've some chocolate. No yeah, bastard? plenty of coffee. Okay, well, they got chocolate. Uh, we've got... Oki bars. What is this? They said it's not suitable for females. Oh. Why would chocolate not be suitable? Hmm. What kind of bullshit is that? Uh, just says not for girls. Give me that. Okay. Well, uh, We're in the good. basket, we're gonna buy that. Maybe okay. they have another kind of chocolate? Okay. Okay. No, if they said I can't have it, it makes me want it more. But what if uh, old teasers? They they have um they have essentially these little uh these little capsules uh which you know like pill boxes. It looks like that. Um and essentially each of them has a different like flavor of chocolate, which is like, uh, you know, milk, um, dark, caramel, etc. They're all um, liquid. 
so that they're they're essentially like contained within these capsules you can like open them up and they uh solidify in the air so you can either let them let them solidify or like do chocolate shots basically oh my god oh this show makes me so hungry i'm sorry like <laughs> uh, you you wanted to go you wanted to go looking I for know, food I uh, like i'm uh, giving you food guys <laughs> Would you? okay uh prongles does anyone want prongles sure yeah I'll they have gray legs flavor prongles when they taken off the market in in for being addictive yeah I'll get full. Um, yeah. the, the the there's like a, a picture of a, a a bald man with um with like a goatee, and it just says, uh, "Once you stop, you want to continue." <laughs> I'm glad somebody got it. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, I'd, I'd basically like to fill up a shopping basket with all these oh, yeah. cool yeah. and interesting things. Okay, anything else? Beer. No. Good point, no beer. beer, Astrid. You can get him for me. I wasn't Definitely even English. We, we need it for the poodles and for just in general. Yeah. Oh. It's fine. I'll pick out some like some slabs of beer, <laughs> enough enough to keep us tied over till we get back. <laughs> Basically, that's what we're getting: snacks and beer, because you know, food isn't as interesting, uh, and unless you're <laughs> getting weird shit from yeah, <laughs> yeah, we just fill up a shopping cart. Uh, No, me will prod Astrid in the arm. Mm. How much water have you drunk today? None. No, you had a glass, <sighs> but you should probably have more. Mm. I don't feel like it. If there are bottles of water, no, me will just grab like the the biggest one she can find that's carryable while while walking. Oh yeah, yeah. Does, uh... stick that in the basket as well. Yeah, you you bring it all to the to the cashier, bring you through, uh, pay pay for the bizarre assortment of um, prior <laughs> snacks. We might as well have tourists written on our heads. At yeah, this point. <laughs> yeah. There's uh... and um, yeah. Do you want to head on out and carry on? Yeah. No, me will give the water to Astrid. Yeah. Like, hand it to her, take the lid off. Drink it. it it's. Drink! Fairly large. So, you're essentially got both arms around a big jug of water. You always drink the whole thing? Well, not. I'll drown! In one, but yes. That's the amount oh, you should once. be drinking every day. Really? That's a lot. Really? Shit. I mean, I guess I drink that much in coffee. Yeah. I got a straw. No. I need, a, I need a straw. Oh, no, wait. It's like um a pack of crazy straws that came with some strange uh, Prioris cereal. Uh, this one's shaped like a bear. Sorry. Would you would you like to go would you like to go crazy um uh tourist we're full tourists full right tourist. now <laughs> um, so there there's a um there's a selection of straws uh which is essentially sold as like a, a kind of pack um they don't last very long but essentially you drop them into a drink and as as they go through uh the straws like are flavored so yeah, it's it's not amazing, but you you could essentially get like licorice flavored water, you know, because it goes through the straws. Not just want, licorice. Do you want cherry, caramel, chocolate? <laughs> there's, there's a tomato one. Tomato. Cherry. 
Okay. Yeah, it's shaped like a bear, but it's got a hat on. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. What has that got to do with cherries? I have no fucking idea. Hmm. Marketing. Um, as you're leaving the store, uh, a man kind of like uh, walks up to probably you, Colton, I would say, just uh, off the rip. Um, a little disheveled looking, like big kind of uh, uh, dark circles under his eyes. Um, excuse me. Uh, to spare any credits for a man down on his luck. No. Oh, come on, don't be like that. I just... I just need enough for somewhere to, to, to stay for the night. Do you actually get out your gun? It's probably on my hip in a holster. I've got a license for it now. <laughs> yeah, no you do. No. Alright, fair play. Not looking to be any problems. Backs off. Walks off. Fuck the homeless! <laughs> now we will watch him go. Like, until he's properly gone. Yeah, he, he goes. He goes up to a, another group of people. They kind of, like, brush him off. Um, just FYI. There are a few, like, people similar to him up and down the street. Uh, a couple of them, like, sitting in, in like, little alcoves. Um, that type of thing. She doesn't care that she's homeless, she cares about the line he just used. <laughs> and systematic failure of government. Hmm. Probably spent it on drugs anyway. Probably didn't need it. Oh, I'm disgusted with myself. I'm like a Tory. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. yeah, if you're a real Tory, you would have had cheese and wine. <laughs> <laughs> and we sorry, wouldn't be I should have made all six jokes during the show. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're way too socially distanced for that. Uh. I'm sorry. I should have made that during the show. I'm just very angry. <laughs> Topical. The, um, as you uh, are you heading back to the ship or further away from from the. Uh, it's essentially if you keep going down the street, um, there'll be less stores and more just kind of like residential housing. Like the sparkle uh, kind of dissipates and it's more like urban, uh, like cloistered in uh, apartment blocks and gets a little bit higher for a bit as well. I think we've come to the end of the interesting stuff. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we should get this food back to the ship. Mm. It looks like it needs refrigeration. Shit. Right? Refrigeration's kind of full of dead bodies right now. A dead body. Wait, what? Oh yeah, oh. somebody died. Yeah. The old passenger. When? Yes. Colt, did you shoot him? No, oh, I no, didn't I shoot him. I, I he was really he's... old. He was old and sad. His niece died here. And he's dead how? Old age, probably. He was really old. We're gonna take him back. He's still in the ship. You can go see him. I don't want to see him. You might okay. need to if you want to help unload the shopping. Mm. I'm not putting the shopping next to the body. That's where what? the cold storage is. I'm assuming he's like wrapped up, right? And the food's wrapped up. Oh, yeah, up, yeah. So... Should be okay as long as, you know, nothing is kept in there too long. You people right? are monsters. What? What am I supposed to do with a dead body? We're, we're gonna take him home. Yeah. Okay, but we can't be putting our groceries next to him. That's so disrespectful. 
but we it also means we can't pick up as many groceries, which is why I suggested some kind of cryogenic storage facility. Mm. Uh, you have a garden, and we've got plenty of dry store stuff. We don't always need fresh things that need refrigerating. Christ. Okay, but we do need to keep the body f fresh. Is that the right word for dead bodies? Fresh. Preserved. Preserved. I wrapped him in cling film and put him in a suit. He's in a body bag too. I think it'll be fine just this time. I mean, we we never get the chance to eat Freelix and I mean boodles. I'm not touching anything that's going in that fridge next to me. That's so disrespectful. Christ. Disrespectful how? A person has passed, and they're not yet at their resting place. So until they reach their place of rest, they need to be treated with the utmost respect, not being shoved in a fridge next to our everyday groceries. He's not it's shoved in there. He's put in there properly. Okay. did it myself. Shut up. It's disrespectful to his memory, to his family, to his final lasting image. Shouldn't be him in a fucking fridge. Uh, so he'll be buried properly. You're talking as you're walking back to ship, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we could get a small separate cooler for the food. There you go. Thank you, Green. That's... There is already food in there. Yeah. Oh my god, you didn't take the food. It would have gone off. You're like three weeks okay. of food in there. <sighs> He's not there anymore. It's just a body. His memory is what's going to be respected. He um, gets buried. As you're as you're walking uh, back towards, uh, you notice a couple of um, uh, like kind of subtly to the side of the street, uh, a couple of um, marines like drift off from the side and walk towards you. Um, Right, one of them holds his hand out uh, to kind of like stop you essentially and says uh, uh, excuse me um, do you mind uh, showing me your papers please sir uh, yeah I'll get out my ID I assume he meant my license but I'll show him my ID uh, your license uh, sir for your oh, right. uh, side on Uh, you could also it's my COVID pass, not that. <laughs> uh, you you could also notice that uh, it's subtle, but the the other guy with him has like a essentially, a kind of rifle, some machine gun, like slung at his waist, and he's kind of you know like semi, uh, you know, yeah, prepared. Uh, the other guy takes the takes the, uh, you know, the license, uh, like goes over it very quickly. Thank you, sir. Uh, everything seems to be in order. Please uh, enjoy your day. Thanks. And just uh, like motions to his uh, to his partner, and they move on. See, I can illegally shoot people. They seem a little jumpy, don't they? Here. This entire planet is kind of jumpy. Also, yeah. they got a cordon on. They were kind of polite. If they were real jumpy, they would have put me up against the wall. Yeah, I'm glad they didn't do that. Um, let's just get back to the ship. Mm. Mm. Head back to the ship? Yeah. Okay. Um, as you get to, like, the base of the, uh, the base of the, the port, and you're gonna, kind of, gonna go in and, and go up the, the, essentially, elevators to, to your ship, uh, you hear, um, hello, help, uh, 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 uh Mr. Nguyen, it's, and, um, like, kind of off to the side slightly, kind of, like, sat up against the, uh, uh, sat up against the, the side of the, the wall of this building is, uh, oh god, what the hell's his name, it's a silly name, uh, Ra Rankev Rankerson? Oh, hey, the medic. Okay. Um, like, he's kind of, uh, his, his, like, 
jacket is slightly torn and he's got like a really dark welt across the, the like side of his face it's uh, a little bit um a little bit of blood a little bit of bruising the fuck happened to you i i had a bad day oh uh, i I, I was hoping like it. I um yeah, sorry. Uh they won't let me in. I, I wanted to come back to the ship. You wanna come back to the ship? Uh yes please. You Why go would back they to let the you in? Uh I I think it is because I look like I am homeless and I uh, the... Technically and speaking, I... uh it is a long story. Okay. I don't think you looked like that before you left. I, left. I, did, I did not look like that before I left. Come back, Sasha. We'll discuss it. Thank you. I I, I do appreciate Um, Yes. Are you, are you trying to book passage to go back? I just don't have anywhere to stay, and I don't have any money, and I... Uh, I got beaten up. And... I your eye is the reason that they won't let you through. I think possibly my finger is, and like his fingers like hanging down like that. Uh, kind of. Oh. Uh, I think I need some medical aid as well. Hmm. Uh, maybe just to pop back in, but it's hard to do myself. I'm right handed. Can I message the ship from out here? How close are we? Um, yeah, you can, you can. Uh, Captain. Away, crew to Captain. So when when you're outside the ship, it goes to the uh, bridge. So if there's anyone on the bridge, they can receive it. You do not receive a reply. <sighs> you might just not be on the bridge. Usually Kareen's on the bridge to answer any, any calls. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I mean, but you stay in storage until we figure out what we're doing with you. It is fine. Stuff. Bingo. The, yes. Mm. And okay. I can tell you what happened as well. It is, uh... Yeah. Yes, yeah. we'll just get back to the ship and call yeah. the captain. Well, yeah, you do. Uh, he... With... You essentially have the papers that he doesn't have to prove that you have a ship and, you know, you're you're currently, like, residing there for a couple of days. Yeah, let's call it the equivalent of day passes, so you can get him through fine. Um, you head back up and onto the ship. Okay, you sit there and don't fucking move. I sit right there and not fucking move. After sort of his finger, I see that was hanging off. I think it's just dislocated. It, it just needs to be popped back in. I'm, I'm okay. just going to take this food um, and get it situated. I won't cook anything. I'm just going to put it away. Okay. okay. You're not going to cook anything? No, 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 no. You, I'm going to leave that to you. I'm just going to get it situated so it's all stored. I'm going to go do that. And I it's take funny. I'm not even a good cook. It's just she's going to kill someone. <laughs> I suspect if it hasn't happened already, it would have happened quite quickly. Yes. Mm. Have you had medical training? Not for the cooking. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Ah, uh, basic field dressing. Hmm. Shall I put his finger back in? You go get the captain. I think that would be a good idea. And Astrid? Yeah. Drink more water, I guess. I'm gonna go take a nap. <clears throat> nah, she's just gonna like waddle to her room carrying this big old barrel of water. You're you're <laughs> you're essentially in the comfortable stage of uh, hungover, where essentially you've got greasy food, you've had some water, and now you're just feeling a bit drained. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Rankinson. Yes. Okay. See that in the corner of the ship there. Uh, yank his finger. Uh, ah, put it back into shape. <laughs> um, what's your medic? Yeah, probably terrible. I've failed. Do I even have anything that I can roll on? Jack of all trades, so uh, that's probably where it is. 
I would I would say yeah, probably Jack of all trades. I could make an argument for Streetwise, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Um, uh, Drackable Trades is better. Yeah. Uh, normal. Are we going to get our first fade here? That'd be nice. Maybe. Nope. Uh, the, the minor drawback, if even that, is that it hurts. It probably would have hurt regardless. But you hear, like, the pop. Uh, and he goes, ah! Um, and, uh... And then, like, kind of looks at his hand, like, moves it a little bit. Uh, he's like, uh, ah, this is much better, thank you. Uh, what am I trying to be seeing? In the corner? Is... You're supposed to be not seeing your finger. I'm going to have to bandage this up. Oh, thank I'll, you. I'll get out, like, the first aid and I'll, like, make sure that his cut isn't infected and wrap his hand so he can't move his finger too much. Just basic, like, I don't know what I'm doing, I just know how to make sure your hand doesn't fall off. Yeah, yeah, no, you, you kind of bandage up the hand and it is what it is. And, uh, you, like, quick dab with some kind of, like, antiseptic or, or something uh, on the face. Thank you, it's, uh, it feels a lot less painful now that mm. uh, it is not hanging off my hand. So you said you haven't got any money. This is true. Well, I I mean, I have some, but uh, it's, it's in my house. And your house is where we're going? Because it ain't free to transport people around. Oh, no. Uh, my house is here. I, I live here. But they won't let you in? No, it is in, um, it's in the cordon. Oh. Uh -huh. I, I I had a way there and back, but um, not anymore. So where'd this happen? Uh, so um, uh, n none of you are uh, um, uh, members of of uh, initiative uh, police force or, or military or. Anything like that? No? <laughs> We're traders. Our traders. Oh, uh, good. Um, so, uh, I had a way, uh, a secret way, in and out of Corden. Uh, originally, I was in Corden, and then I came out, and I was trying to get back in. You got into the Corden? Uh, no. Uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, the the way through is uh, being watched now, and uh, they they took my stuff and um, uh, and beat me up. I... You belong on this planet. You've got nowhere to go. Uh, not until Cordon is lifted, or I can find another way in. You know why it's all cordoned off? Uh, yes, uh, uh, because of riots and um, and civil unrest and. Okay, you could have just said no. I I didn't see any civil unrest, but once they crack down, not allowed to leave house and um, you know. Okay, use your imagination. You live there? Yes. What are, what are reasons they might have cordoned it off? I don't know. It's, uh, it, it, uh, they started at, um, at the hospital. Uh, uh, the, the military was called in. Uh, they said there was a, a, a riot or, or a... a and and the the hospital caught fire, so it could. Uh... What do you know about the hospital? What do Why they do would that? there be a riot at the hospital? I I'd be coming back in. Uh, it is um it, essentially there's uh, not enough space for the people who are coming in. Um, 
it, it happens sometimes. Uh, overloading of uh, the not enough beds, not enough doctors, not enough anything. Um, even before the cordon, they were low on supplies and uh, and uh, workers. And now um, uh, all the doctors are dead. And uh... wow. So, so inside the cordon, there's no working hospital. No, uh, is um. Before I left, it was still not too bad. Uh, most people were staying in their houses, but um, there was uh, patrols all over the place. Um, some people who broke uh, a curfew or uh, who went outside got shot. Damn. Wow. Is uh, zero. Why would you risk it? Um, uh, I had some friends, uh, they, um, they worked in the, uh, in the army, uh, they allowed me to, uh, slip past the, uh, their cordon, um, I went to, uh, I went to Somalis to get, uh, supplies. Uh, medical supplies, um, uh, drugs that were needed. Uh, I couldn't go to Initiative Planet because uh, they would look for my ID, you know. So you were smuggling medical supplies back through to the cordon? I was, yes. So that place isn't usually cordoned off? It's only been a few weeks. Um, Isn't that place where they do all your admin work? Is that where the workers live? Uh, it is, is uh, people, just regular people. You know, they, they work in, in factory, they work, uh, some of them uh, commute out to farms and, uh, and ranches and things. It, it's, there's nothing special there at all. The first you heard about it was down at the hospital. Yes, um, as far as I know, I was not looking for it, it just kind of happened, so some of this I know from after, and, and things people say. Damn, this place is fucked up. Is, is, is it any better anywhere else? Yeah. Yeah, there's, I mean, there are places that are fucked up, but there are places that are normal. Hey, what's going on? Hello. Hi. So, the people that attacked you and beat you up, did they take the medical supplies? He was smuggling medical supplies, Astrid. It's smuggling oh. is, uh, is, is, is like a legal word. It, it was... Uh... It was, but I mean, that's uh, what you were doing. Yeah, I, no, I was, yes, I was smuggling, call. yes. It, I was smuggling medical supplies. Okay. The people that needed them, but... You know. For money. He lives in the cordon. Okay. All right, and you, and you got attacks? Yes. Oh, God. I don't think it was him. Doesn't exist. Captain Nomi should be here soon. I was literally about to go for a pee. Thanks. No, 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 go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, there's the captain. Nomi's not here. Though. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be back in a minute. It's funny because I was about to go pee too. Um, <laughs> got both no, of us. Captain said he'd be about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, the the rank ever is still here. Yeah, that's true. Hey, Captain. Rank, rank, Rankev, um, Rankev suddenly goes, like, like stairs, thousand-yard stare, and it looks like he's offline for a couple of minutes. <laughs> As she goes to pee, uh, please do carry on. <laughs> you feeling a bit more, uh, Astrid? Astrid? 
Yeah, I'm feeling better. I think it might take me the rest of the day, though. Seems like you had a good time, though. Yeah, I mean, oh well, shit's on the credits. Where'd you go? That's awesome. Went to this casino place. Well, I mean, first, we tried to go to the casino place, and whilst we were on the way there, people looked at me as if I was like dirt on the bottom of their shoes. So I was like, all right, I'll play them at their own game. So we went to this, not fancy, but kind of like middle tier kind of like clothing place. And we blagged them and got a really good deal on that fancy dress that I was wearing. And I was a little bit like fingered on some of the jewelry. I mean, they, they don't need to know that. They make enough. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, Rome we got suited up and then we went and we dealt them cards. It was beautiful. I didn't actually deal them, but I got some pretty good hands. Cool. Yeah, what was the it. shop you bought the clothes from? I can't remember. Romeo would know. Romeo's I think not here right now. <laughs> I mean, Romeo will tell you when he gets here, but I mean, I was steaming. Do you know Romeo used to be a cop? Yeah, I did. Detective. Yeah, and he came here before he was chasing a serial killer. Yeah, that's so interesting. He was a serial killer. No, he no. was chasing a serial killer. I thought that killer. too, but he was chasing one. Yeah, oh, I, okay. I was confused when I heard that first. Oh, the captain. I know me's here. Oh, hey, captain. Uh, didn't he leave? Yeah, but, um, I'll let him tell you. He was smuggling medicines into the cordon, and then he got attacked. I'll let him tell you. Basically, he lives in the cordon, captain. Right. He can't get in. He was trying to... Take some medicine. <clears throat> well, technically, we're um, here for a couple of days, and he's already paid for his board. Have, have you taken down all of the um, yeah. uh, the bunks? Oh, um, well, there's the um, there's, spare room. There's the broken one. Oh, well, there's the... the room the VIP was in. Right. I, I mean, I've taken the, I've taken the, the shower down. Well, that that's fine. The the bunks have showers, although the He's... broken one is. The... Have we fixed the plumbing in in there yet, or is that still? There's something crazy with the piping in there. It looks like someone just went at it. It it works. I mean, maybe it was like that when we got it. Probably. I don't see why someone would like literally attack a pipe. No, it's that like a would, wrench or something. That would be insanity. Okay, um... Problem is, Captain, that cordon's been going a couple of weeks. Well, uh, I mean, we'll have to go when we have to go, but at least... We can put him up for a couple of days. Yeah, and then he'll have to figure it out, right? I, I can, uh, if I have a couple of days, I might be able to find my way back in, or... Uh, I don't know, I can, I can make something work. Hey, we don't want any military coming back here to our ship. Yeah, just, you know. I, I, uh, I, I doubt, um, I would be... ...followed, or, or I, I don't see why they would care. I mean, you got beaten up and had all your stuff stolen. I did, yes. He's not going to report it, though. He was no, I, it is so... Uh... Alright, I... just... We don't want any trouble, okay? I Me but... neither. I, I'm just looking to, you know, it's... I I made the attempt to uh, help the the Gordon and make a little money it didn't work. Um, I guess I'll just either have to try to get back in or see what I can do. I don't know. I'll I'll figure something out. Are okay, Captain? Yeah. No. Um. I I don't see how. 
it will come out to bite us, so it should be fine. I don't I got really. I got uh, MPs as well. Any problems? No, they just wanted to see my paperwork. We're probably just on alert, I guess. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I did threaten to shoot a homeless person. But didn't actually do it. Do it. Oh. You sh you shouldn't have done that. It's probably like me, just someone who's stuck outside Gordon. Okay, but he didn't go away when I told him to go away. Guns help make people go away. Right. Okay. Even without shooting them. Hey, that's not that's true. That's... So I just guess you're gonna stay here for a few days. I I will um I will go out. I will see what I can do about um earning some money. Maybe find a place to stay for as soon as possible. Um. Captain, can we get him a day passes? Crew for a couple of days, so we can move back and forth. Um, yeah. Is that wise? If anything were to happen, that would then link us to his behavior. Yeah, maybe, maybe just to have them call the ship. You know, I'll be on the bridge. We've already. He could be a, a contractor. Little. Yeah. That could work. Contract okay. medic. Medic. I don't think he is a medic. Medic. He was just. No, I I was actually medic in army. Oh, well, oh. He's a battlefield medic. I didn't get much training, but uh, it is is how I knew uh, some of the some of the people on on the cordon. I was really sick for the last, you know. Day and a half or so, because that. Yeah, and I've got this mole. That just. Okay. Yeah. Naomi draws breath to add something and then doesn't. <laughs> um, yeah. How about temporary medic while we're in port? I think that would work, um, but uh, uh, not affiliated with the crew. Just to kind of um, maybe maybe uh, if we say that someone or someone on the crew needs medical attention, then that would, you know. And he says, uh, I, "I'm I'm fine with that." It is, Oh my leg! Ah. There you go. I uh, need to oh. assist with the with the leg hurting. Paula, why did you kick me? Why? I think you dislocated it. No. Ah. Oh. Did you think she was homeless? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't look homeless. She's all clean now, and she's beautiful. She looks more like Astrid now. Mm. She does look more like Astrid. Yes. Not enough oil okay. around her face. I'm like not touching her, but I'm like close to touching her. Are you okay? Do you, do you know? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, looks like we need a medic, Captain. Medic, couple of days uh, for the duration. Um, of course, Astrid's going to have to be just bedridden for a few days for the authenticity. Not allowed to leave her room. Um, I like oh. this. I could kick her again. No, no. Stop that. Go, we, you should make her some boodles. I'll make you bedridden. <laughs> Ow! Boodle. Yeah, Colton can wait on me hand and foot and bring me anything I need. Yep. Do you need some bullets? Alright, let's just... de-escalate the situation, please. I'm gonna shoot the engineer. Please okay. don't shoot anyone on the crew, Colton. Do I have to say everyone that I'm not going to shoot? He won't. He won't. He wouldn't. I'll just shoot him first. Astrid, <laughs> you are also not allowed to shoot anyone on the crew. Do you want some boodles? Fine. Uh, yeah, yes, okay. Boodles would be lovely. Thank you. 
Oh, I, I can't make them. I, I might kill you. Oh, yeah. I guess please. I'll make some food with them. Kareem, please yeah, don't cook call... for anyone. Look, uh, let's just... <laughs> should, we, should we go through a, a do's and don'ts yeah. of killing the crew? Um, in general, please no one attempt or accidentally try to kill the crew. Right, anyone on the yeah, crew. No, me, don't go near the, uh, the pressurizers. <laughs> Obviously, you think that wasn't in character. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. We won't kill anyone on the crew. For a start. Unless they deserve it. No. Well. Colton, make yourself useful and go get in the kitchen, alright? <sighs> I'm injured. I need boodles. It is also your turn to cook, Colton. I'll make you like some coffee. A week ago. <sighs> Okay, I'm taking my gun. Okay. Do you want nitro or regular coffee? Uh, regular. I think there's like three cups of nitro left. You drank a lot of nitro. I know. I'm saving it, but but you're making us boodles, so I just thought I'd offer. But I'll make you the normal coffee. Thank you for making yeah. the boodles. I'll go make some boodles. The passenger's still here. Uh, Rankov? Mm. Would you like me to show you to your room? Uh, uh, yes, that would be appreciated. Thank you. She'll turn and just lead the way. Oh, uh, now? Okay. Uh, give me a second. I need to get up. And, like, stands up and, and follows you. Uh, Captain? Yes? Where's Romy? Um, I think he's took a... A, a light laying for the morning? I haven't seen him yet. He's probably either still asleep or just in his in his bunk. Okay. Well, uh, I thought I'd been up by now. I, I don't remember him drinking that much, unless I just really didn't remember. So. No, he was quite sober. I, th I think he's just, uh, you know, worn out. Yeah. I mean, I get it. It's, it's <laughs> Go and camp with me for night. That must be pretty exhausting. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Um. Ow, my leg. Yeah, maybe. Uh, for for a second, you see him like almost panic, as if he's like he's like, oh well, no, your leg hurts, and then he's like, oh yeah, no, it's um. Yeah. Uh, Kareen, could you help me to my room, uh, again, please? Sure, sure. <laughs> yep. Um, yep, okay. You realise that we're not currently being observed by, you know, don't actually have to pretend. Oh, shit. Oh, I yeah. didn't know if you could, like, check the cameras or something. No, 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 it, it's, it's, oh. no, it's fine, no, no cameras. <sighs> yeah, that's fine. Alright, I'm gonna go check on Romy then. Now she's gonna okay, leave the storage area. Oh, thank you. Uh, um, Corrine, could you um, could you just shoot out the, basically do the paperwork for the medic, um, yeah. just so it, just so it's on record. It only has to be on on the ship, really, but uh, okay. in case anyone yeah. checks, I'll go do that. Thank you. Um, Nomi, your uh, walk in, Mister Rankerson to his. Yeah, I'm leading him uh back to that room and. As I walk in front of him, the second we're out of eye shot of anybody else, you'll see that a walk changes slightly. There's a little bit more hip. There's just a tiny bit more wiggle to it. Okay. It is, um... I do appreciate being put on, uh... uh being... Uh, being able to stay here for a couple of days. Uh, I, I don't think we, uh, really talked much, uh during trip uh no you are a combat medic that must be very difficult uh well it, it, it was uh you know I, I was conscripted i didn't really want to kill um so i tried to help instead conscripted by who uh, it uh, was the initiative, um, just, you know, they went around and, uh, it was a lottery. 
I want to get a read on him and see if he's lying. Okay. Uh, that will be... Uh, we were doing deception, right? Yeah, so I would say, I would say deception would be the, uh, the role here. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. Um. <laughs> yeah, it, it it's it is the truth. Um. I, I think the only thing that may feel a bit off is him saying that he uh he didn't want to hurt anyone and he just decided to be a medic. Very, very possibly he was just assigned to that role, and um, he, he just had to like it or lump it kind of thing. Uh, but uh, in in general, true, with a, like a little hint of like slight deception. Probably just trying to present himself <laughs> as you know. And what what caused all of that? Out there. Uh, the the cordon? Mm. I, I don't know. It's um. It just kind of came on suddenly. There was uh the the fire and uh, at the hospital, but the, I wasn't around for that. I was uh, in my home. Um, one day everyone was uh, having normal life, and then you know, military. Uh, Patrols, uh, everything. And there's no reason. Uh, there was n n never anything that uh, I I could tell. I I did wonder whether it was like uh, uh, some sickness or or something because there were more people, and uh, the hospital was getting um you know, but no, apparently not. Hmm. Curious. And they just beat you. Oh uh, well, this was uh um uh, it, some people who uh, uh things like cordon tend to uh bring out either the best or the worst in people. Um and what which did it bring out of you? Well, I was bringing medical supplies, but I was also going to sell them, so... She opens the door to the quarters. That maybe, wasn't the question. Maybe both? Hmm. Interesting. Is there anything I can roll to see what he's actually getting at there? Um, let's have a look here. Because she's basically doing a very subtle interrogation on him right yeah. now. Yeah. Um, I would I would say intellect, just straight straight shot intellect. Mm -hmm. I unbelievable. Um, so what, what are you looking for pre precisely, like? What he's, what he was getting at, because there seems yeah. to be some ul ulterior motive here, and I don't trust it okay. being left alone on this ship. Um, so essentially what he has said that he's been doing is he managed to slip out the cordon because <laughs> he knew some people in the military who were part of, so essentially he had did like, Little window where they're, you know, mm -hmm. probably when got medical supplies, was bringing them back to sell. So, like, he had the intention of helping people in the cordon, but also he was looking to make a profit mm -hmm. and, like, exploit the people who needed medical supplies. So, it's like there, there's some good in there, but also there's some mm -hmm. self interest. And so, he's probably saying basically, you know, like, 
I'm trying to help people, but I'm also mm -hmm. helping myself and being selfish. And There is no selfishness in taking what you need. We are all part of a system. One part cannot flourish without the others flourishing. It's true. Uh, some people might consider it uh, exploitative in nature to profit off other people's misfortune. But you are not one of them. So why do you care about the opinion of such people? That's a good question. Uh, you feel guilty that you should be better? I'd like to be. But you're not. Not, not really. Hmm. Then what does it matter? You are or you aren't. You get to choose. Well, especially because the last of my credits went on the medical supplies that got taken from me. I guess it really doesn't matter at all. Kind of a, a moot opinion. Mm. You must survive. As must we. That's true. There's more chance of that out here than there is in the cordon, at least. Hmm. Possibly. Seems strange, though. Anyway. You can, you can almost see, like, a switch flick in her head, like, I'm not interested in talking yeah. to you anymore. Have a lovely evening. Uh, thank you. Uh, you too. She'll just turn on a yeah. hill and walk away. He just goes no wiggle. In, he goes into his bunk and uh, and sits down. So for the rest of the evening and onward, does anyone have anything else they'd like to do before we head to morn? Dinner's served. Oh <sighs> Green oh, like, yeah. runs down and, and sits down and is like already and is like, thank you so much for making them, Colton. Ashid is gonna just like bolt from a room and thunder down the stairs. And I imagine kind of trip and actually hurt her leg a little bit. But get up no. and just like, <laughs> <laughs> She's the girl who cried leg. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm actually gonna just like limp a little bit into into the into the kitchen. Night. Kareem's gonna see her and be like, um, there's no cameras in here. I know. <laughs> okay, here's some boodles. Thank and I'm you. I'm gonna like pass the boodle bowl. <laughs> okay. And there's um ah, there we go. There's oodles of oodles. Um, there's probably a few of the snacks and things from the uh, uh, from the shopping trip as well. Uh, chow down. Um, the captain comes in, takes his portion, uh, eats with you. Not really super talkative. Uh, Romy looks a little haggard, not in like a messy way, just in kind of like a. I had a night with Astrid <laughs> out on the town, and I'm still recovering way. It's like looking after a gerbil on speed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I beg your pardon! It's like bouncing all around the room, like, ding, ding, ding. Tell me I'm wrong. It's like one of those super <laughs> bouncy balls. <laughs> Okay. 
Uh, does anyone need to talk with anyone else, or, or should we just uh, have the boodles and retire for the night? I think uh, boodles. Enjoying our boodles and chat. Yeah. yeah, just general conversation. Probably touch upon uh, the happenings outside, but there's nothing really too much to draw from it. It's you know, it's an interesting conversation point, but there's nothing you can really be like, aha! Clearly, mm. it is zombies. <laughs> it might be zombies. God. Just mm. FYI. is that like dead bees? Get out. <laughs> we have filters on the ship, right? That would like sense if there's a contagion or something. Yeah, but Korean oh, zombies no. don't actually exist. That's it's like a story. It's not real. Yeah, but what if it's something else? Accordance happen for diseases all the time. Have you not? It's probably not zombies. Seen division or or contagion or. Any of that? Okay, never, so never heard of any of those. Original or the remake? Because <laughs> the remake was absolutely fucking terrible. I know. Give it. Um, I have a couple of leads on a job. Uh, well, I have a couple of leads on a couple of jobs. So, um, we we might just be uh, transporting um uh, food, actually. We need oh. storage oh. for that. Um. Well, they they would come. Yeah, we'll set up more cost storage. Yeah. They, they oh, would, they come in refrigerated. Containers. They would come preserved and refrigerated if needed. Yes. That saves oh, okay. us a lot okay, of money. Cool. Um, so far, it, it's it's not a done deal, but um, with with the new agreement uh, between the initiative and, and Inner, it looks like more food's going to be shipped over to uh, to the Inner system. So might be able to get in on a on a contract there. Ooh. It's not going to be anything flashy and loads of money, but um, it's safer than heading out to the distant twins currently, so I'll take it. Hey, should we maybe grab some Greylex and ship them back? If we're carrying food anyway. Yeah, it's so good. I'm not really sure it's in the budget currently. Mm -hmm. um, uh, unless we, unless it was like an investment for later. It's good. It's spicy. We, uh, but we don't, we, we, we don't really have anywhere to. Did you, did you make Greylix uh, boodles? Yeah. Yeah. Well, with the, with the meat. Yeah. Um. So essentially, the, uh, the Greylix are, um, when they're ranched, they're ranched on essentially like, uh, uh limes uh, lemons oranges mm. like citrus and uh and like peppers so th those are like kind of like their feed they marinated while they're alive they're marinated <laughs> while they're alive they used to do that with pigs oh, in medieval um, times wanting eggs. acorns and honey so it, it, essentially um they are uh they're quite useful because they can also be used for essentially leather as well um, you know, like, like, the lizard skin is quite tough and, like, boots and things like that. Um... Maybe we could ship some live ones. But to where? I don't know. I know a farm. Oh, really? If, if there's someone who could ranch them, then that would Maybe. be an investment. I can't guarantee that. We, we, we might need to um, get some funding for it, but we could do the transporting, definitely. You're eating them right now. They're pretty good. I, I love... Uh, um, I, what spice did you use on this? Nothing. I just... That's just... The oh, meat. they're just... Yeah. Oh. I mean, I, I could see these selling in, in the inner system. Right. If we could... Maybe. Might be worth looking into how you... you Ranch them into how the I don't know. Um, depends who you'd get to to look after them and, and raise them and stuff. But yeah, I'm. I'd... Maybe when we get back to the inner, we can see if we can sort some of that. Okay. Do you have contacts in the inner? Yeah. Great. Um. Okay. Uh, New orphan, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. Th that sounds great. Um. We'll. We we may be coming back here sooner than we think. Then. Hopefully the 
corn will be down. Uh, yeah. I, I, we'd probably travel closer to the farms. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Brilliant. Well, uh, I'll get these uh, dishes uh, all cleaned up and um, we'll have a think about it. Oh. Like, starts like piling up the dishes and. I'll kick Astrid in the leg again for the realism. No. I think she actually. <laughs> She actually hurt her leg. Um, no, no, Corrine, it's it's an act. No, I I think I tripped on the way in here. <laughs> That's idiot. almost convincing. No, she really. I. I believe it. I uh I just want to say, for the record, that didn't happen while we were out gambling like they all happen when you ain't gambling I don't want to talk about it I'm gonna bed and Roby gets up and walks off he'll wow. turn to Astrid and just go did you have sex? <laughs> <laughs> no! oh yeah hmm. okay you hear like a crash of plates from behind you? No, I did not fuck Romy! Why not? Oh! Oh! I. Uh, there's a message in the bridge for me. I need to. Uh, okay. And yeah, the, the I'm going to help you with that. <laughs> Thank you, Kareen. <laughs> so now it's just Colton, Novi, and Astrid. not because the guy is like a father figure to me mm. what? what what do they call it daddy <laughs> fucking hell <laughs> i've seen the vids what that's just just gonna get up and she's gonna lift up the kitchen to her clank room. clank clank <laughs> Door slam. Yeah, they definitely had sex. Mm. Mm. Something happened. They're curiously judgmental. Me? No, them. Mm. Maybe she enjoyed it and didn't want anybody else to try. Everyone goes to bed, sleep at night for the <laughs> night. <laughs> Unless there's any other conversations we want to have tonight. No, no. End episode. Stop the recording. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for coming to Drifting. We'll be back. Not next Monday because we're on a Christmas break. Well, so. <laughs> morning comes. Oh. And... Uh, breakfast and everyone's up and walking around and all of those type of things uh i imagine getting towards noon uh you'd realize that no one's seen rankev god i'll check his room go to his room bang 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 Hello. I Kev. There's no answer. I'll I'll I'll, I'll just open the door. <laughs> okay. Um you open the door. Uh he's just lying there in his bunk. Oh. Ran Kev. I shake him. The like limp. Fuck. He's cold. Fuck. I check his pulse. No pulse. Oh, fuck. And we'll come back to that after the break. No! no! Oh my God, we're fucked. This is what happens when people break cordons. They bring their fucking diseases out with them. Zombies don't exist. 
Yeah. It doesn't have to be the zombie virus to kill us. Ranka Vrankerson, aka Patient Zero. Oh, <laughs> <she be>. oh. <laughs> oh come on. <laughs> or, or, and hear me out. No, me fucking killed. Oh, there was that. a lot of wiggle in that walk. Maybe his heart just couldn't take it. <laughs> <laughs> Nomi has been thinking about sex lately, obviously, so... At least, at least we know she knows what it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Strange Yee. habits of these squishy organics. Yeah. <laughs> There's at least one piece of good news. Mm. Uh, he is from Initiative. Uh, he's from this world, so you can probably just send him off, you know? Oh, thank God. Then go room. We're not all dying. Um. So, yeah, we uh, we won't keep everyone too long. Uh, we'll have a... Can we have post credit music and not this fucking nightmare yeah, hellscape? Oh <laughs> <laughs> the moment he turned it on, I was like, I know this song. <laughs> yeah. Um, the sinister sheepy plans are coming to fruition song. <laughs> Dude, our ship is cursed. People just keep randomly dying for no reason. Just randomly dying on it. It's unfortunate. Oh, God. It's almost like death follows one of you, but I can't think of who it would be because you're all, you know, just regular people living regular lives. Yep. Me too. Yep. It, it's funny because the second I said that, every single one of the cast was like, Yes! <laughs> <There's nothing." laughs> Who is it? <laughs> it couldn't be me. <laughs> oh, deep, deep waters, more like dead waters. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, floor's open if you'd like to shout at me or, um, you know. Uh, just one thing I need to say is I come up with none of the food beforehand. It's all on the spot. It's just I'm me going. I'm so hungry now. Yes. I'm so hungry. So the possibilities that I went through was either the cheese twists, which is, you know, the omelette with like the cheese breaded twist, uh, or it was going to be pancakes in a cinnamon twist. Uh, like those were the two options mm. in my head. And I was like, they're hungover. Cheese is, cheese is messier. Yeah, it needed to be oh, greasy geez. and and as opposed to sweet, so. Mm. Um, any... Drifting, funding Uber Eats since... <laughs> <laughs> In space! Yeah. I think uh... that's what we should be. Don't forget <laughs> the transporting bodies and grey legs and whatever. Like, we just take cheese twists to anywhere. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, we're, we're going to be on a little bit of a hiatus, uh, on drifting, um, on the 10th of January, uh, we will be back with the first episode of Glitch, which is going to be GM'd by the beautiful Peach Pix Light. That's me. Um, we haven't, we haven't, shot, we haven't announced cast yet, we but haven't it announced will cast be. yet, but, you know, It'll, it'll, it'll be coming. Uh, you may notice, you may recognize some people, maybe from even from this cast. Well, I've obviously maybe he's, he's got to be there, so that's... I am going to be there. Yeah, um, I have to. Unfortunately, I have to be there if I'm jamming. It. Yes, uh, and it's uh, it's uh, cyberpunk. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of so yeah, still sci-fi, just not depressing space death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What was depressing about today? We had great food and teased a friend. Uh, you know what? You know what's funny <laughs> is me me knowing what was coming up. I was astounded by the fact that you had a heartwarming and and jolly like dinner where everyone went. Like I was like, how do you guys? Can you do you know what my plans are? Like, are you were like, gonna skip dinner. That was not happening, son. <laughs> yeah, I, I, was, I was like, my god, they're doing it again. Where we're about to get into something like a bit dark and a bit, you know, like ominous, and they're like, hey, let's have another snowball fight. Why not? Like, <laughs> without fail every time. Um, so yeah, that, that's my thoughts on it. Uh, if anyone has anything else, feel free, uh, or we can just. Uh, 
boys up. Um, no, I'm good. It was a fun episode. Enjoyed it. Yes. Drunk yeah. Astrid was fun. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Very. I can't believe when you were like, could I hear Astrid singing? It's like, he's not <laughs> doing this to you right now. And then he did it a second time. Like, you know what? Fine. I'm going. <laughs> I don't know. Why Avril Lavigne was the first song we came to. <laughs> Could have been worse, maybe. It was perfect. It was amazing. Uh, it's my favorite thing to do. It's just to drop something on someone. Can you imagine me as a GM? <laughs> oh. I do this shit as a oh. player. Must watch. I, uh... I am sorry that I can't just, like, dump the... Uh, the... Uh, what's it called? Um, all the info on the on the cordon, and uh, it's uh, when, you, mm -hmm. when yeah, you, yeah, you when yeah. you're just a regular person living in an area in a city, you very mm -hmm. often don't know what's going on, you know, until mm -hmm. shit's already happened. So, to be honest, she was mostly just probing him to see how oh, yeah. truthful he was being, so she could see how much she could trust him. Yeah, doesn't matter now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, a waste of a flirt. <laughs> I wiggled my ass for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, Turning on wiggle algorithm. <laughs> it, it's it's uh, it, it's funny because like, I was wondering whether we would go into people being suspicious of Nobi or you know, like the dude died, but the way it played out, it's just so. You know, like, he was an old guy, he died, like, you know, mm -hmm. there's, there's no suspicion really, uh, at least, you know, from either of, uh, Romy or, or, or Fane. Yeah. Don't know about now the Now it's suspicious. <laughs> now it's suspicious. Oh, I'll just show you to my, your room. Oh, he's dead. The <laughs> oh, fuck, dude, what are you doing? Captain, I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> Keep killing people accidentally. Oh my god. Uh, wow. yes. Just wiggled my bottom and he fell over. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. So, um, unless anyone have, has any final thoughts or feelings or, you know. I have what no is going feelings. on with my camera? Yeah. <laughs> you, you're a ghost. You've gone on Christmassy. Ghost um, of Peachy's past. Yeah. Oh, you don't want to yes. say that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we will be back on the 10th with Glitch for a few weeks, and then Drifting will be back after that. Uh, I apologize for those of you who are really enjoying gl uh, Glitch. I was going to say Glitching. Um, I apologize for those of you who are really enjoying uh, Drifting. It will be back. We will carry on, but you're going to have to be on a bit of a semi cliffhanger for a bit. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Um, but we we will make up for it by bringing you glitch. So there you go. A little, little bit of a change, a little bit of something different, and uh, a different GM. It's not just sheepy GMing and, and spewing his horrific uh, bodge jobs of settings and. The talent <laughs> void is going to be palpable. <laughs> it's going to be so much better. Um... <laughs> So, thank you for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. Uh, have a good Christmas. Have a good New Year's. Uh, I may do something in between if I get a chance, but don't, you know, it'll just be like a Laconis or something along those lines. So, uh, see you later. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Where do I move in this world? Could you please tell me what the hell I'm doing for it? Bring me to my knees. I'm so stupid. Would you tell me honestly if I wasn't meant to be what I see when I dream? Where do I move in this world? Could you please tell me what the hell I'm doing for it? Bring me to my knees. I'm so stupid. Would you tell me honestly if I wasn't meant to be what I see when I dream? It's a big, big world out there. Plenty possibilities. All of them is killing me soft. I want the real me figured out right here right now is this lifestyle the right style for me only with time will i see but by then it'll be too late 
Looking in the mirror at a stranger's face If I wasn't right, would you tell me straight? Or would you let me? Where do I move in this world? Could you please tell me what the hell I'm doing for? Bring me to my knees I'm so stupid, would you tell me honestly If I wasn't meant to be what I see when I dream? Where do I move in this world? Could you please tell me what the hell I'm doing for? Bring me to my knees I'm so stupid, would you tell me honestly If I wasn't meant to be what I see when I, I dream? I want something great instead of all dismay But I can't find my way I fall on my face I flatline my faith I want all escape Let's throw it all away Just like the thoughts I trade For a couple of bucks And this big bucket of love I'm steady throwing my up Hoping for that one in a hundred But fuck stressing the numbers Pop this deck in your summer And see the inner of my head Declog like a plunge Y'all be akin to my feces Your best bet be the beaches The way you think living's I, I Staying alive I got my head and my smile But don't know where I'll fly I'm just spreading my wings I'm fine with taking my Time. I used to rush it all out I'm trying to slow it all down Take my feet and lose ground Give them somewhere to hang I always want it right now I'm Trying to slow it all down Take my mind and lose ground Watch it floating away Yeah Where do I move in this world? Could you please tell me What the hell I'm doing for it? Bring me to my knees I'm so stupid Would you tell me honestly If I wasn't meant to be What I see when I dream? Where do I move in this world? Could you please tell me what the hell I'm doing for it? Bring me to my knees. I'm so stupid. Would you tell me honestly if I wasn't meant to be what I see when I dream?